So real quick, I wanted to just make a video. It has nothing to do with my channel. Um, this is just for people in the fish tank aquarium aquascape community. So I just wanted to do a quick video on um, like a trick way to hatch triops. So I have a tank, but the thing is, is that you have to keep the water at 80 degrees and keep the light on at all times, or at least for 12 hours a day. So the problem that I was having is that I do not have another heater and I don't have another light source. So this is my three gallon beta tank. This is the brand of triops that I bought. It came with this little dish. So I put the dish inside my fish tank, waited until it was at 80 degrees. I don't know if you can see, but on the inside of this dish, I put this sticker thermometer um, on the inside of it so that it tells the temperature of the inside of the, of the dish, not the outside. This is my light source. I do not have a stand yet for the light, so that's why it's being held up by cups, but whatever. And the cups are glued together, so, and they're glued together and they have rocks in them so they don't fall over. But this is my, my hatching setup pretty much. I'm gonna leave the light on for 12 hours a day. This is, and that's the same amount of light that I give my tank anyway, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. is when I give the tank light. So it's just going to fall directly into my regular scheduling. So yeah, if you have limited resources or if you don't have an extra heater or extra light source or whatever, but you already have a fish tank, I think this is the best way to do this. But yeah, just a little, just a little tip. And once they start hatching, I'll be able to see them in here. And I read that with the beta tank, you pretty much have to wait until the triops are bigger than the, the beta's mouth because if they're small, and if you transfer them into the tank and they're too small, the beta will eat the triops. So this way I can monitor the size, the growth, um, and then once I feel like they're big enough for me to add them into the tank, I will. And so that is my beta. Um, right now my heater is at 77 degrees, but it's, it's going to slowly start going up to 80. I think it goes up one degree, maybe like every two minutes or something, just to slowly change the temperature so it's not too dramatic to shock the fish and stuff like that. But yeah, what I probably do is once they get big enough, if I don't feel like, um, adding them into the tank too soon I'll probably just put them in this little fish bowl that I have here with some snails and stuff until I feel like the beta is ready for additional friends yeah so I hope that helped um, I think this is like a really good way to do this yeah